Hi, this is Miles with the Ozo team at Nokia. Today we're going to look at controlling the camera with Ozo Remote. Now, Ozo Remote is available for download. It's part of the Ozo software suite. It's free with purchase and it's available for both Mac and Windows. You can download it at ozo.nokia.com. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect to your individual camera. Each camera has their own Wi-Fi connectivity and you will see the serial number pop up. You just click on that and connect and now you'll take a look at the UI you have here. Uh, you have the ability to stop and start your broadcasting of the camera. So if there's any time that you actually don't see anything but you're all hooked up correctly, just make sure you've got that broadcast button clicked. You also have the ability to roll right from remote and of course stop. We can go ahead and take a look at the two different functions we have here with sensors. We can switch between the eight sensor mode and four sensor mode. And that's up to individual preference depending on what you're filming. Go ahead and switch on back to eight. Some of the great things we have over here. We have the ability to go ahead and check our exposure and adjust that. So we can go ahead and close it down or we could go ahead and open it right up there. Now that's a little overexposed, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back to about 1 400. We also have assisted exposure mode. Now, you can monitor that with either all sensors or front sensors, and this will help you find your optimal exposure time. I'm gonna go ahead and hit assist. Let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna use the front sensors. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, I feel like I wanna go ahead and open it up just a little bit more. Now if we want to, we can go ahead and come down here to the illuminate settings. Now this is where we actually change our white balance. Now it's important to remember that white balance is not baked in. You can change that in the metadata later. But we go all the way from 7500 all the way down to 28. I'm going to go ahead and bring this one back to 56. And we can go in here and monitor our power. I do have it hooked up externally. You can see that here. And you can see that I have about 47 minutes left of my battery. And also check my storage. And I have 50 minutes on the internal SSD card. And if I felt like it, I could format right from here. Just hit format and there it goes, that's quick. One of the other nice things we have the ability to do is check our temperature. Now we can look at the temperature of our processor and our shell. Uh, these are switchable between Celsius and Fahrenheit. If it starts to get a little too warm, it will change on here from green to yellow and then red, giving you the warning. And you also have the ability to adjust your audio monitoring. Now this is not actually controlling your audio, this is just the monitoring on your device. Now I am using a Mac in this instance, a MacBook Pro, uh, but we do support Windows as well. Totally up to you. Now that we've taken a look at all the controls, in the next chapter we're going to use Ozo Remote to monitor the camera.